two kinds of opposition to Jesus. Matthew chapter 2, verse 3 will describe both of these kinds of opposition. And we're going to look at that. Now, let me read the verse first. <clears throat> when Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Well, your first question probably was, well, what did he hear? Well, let's look at verses 1 and 2 and get the context. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. Now, John Piper uh, has a commentary on verse 3 here, and he says there are two kinds of people who do not worship Jesus. The first kind is those who are indifferent towards him. They simply ignore him. The second kind are those who are deeply threatened by him. And this, uh, they are hostile towards him. And this kind is best represented by King Herod in this verse. Now, this Herod, also known as Herod the Great, got his title and his power from the Roman Empire. He wasn't even a Jew. He was an Edomite or a descendant of Esau. And you may remember the story of Jacob and Esau and the hatred there. Now, <clears throat> the birth of the real king of the Jews, who is Jesus, occurred during the last few years of Herod's life and reign. Now, Herod's character can, and his reign can best be described as Machiavellian. Now, that word, the first time I heard it, I go, what does that mean? Well, let me give you some synonyms to help you understand his character. Scheming, underhanded, amoral, treacherous, unscrupulous, cunning, crafty, devious, deceitful, and false-hearted. Now, by the time that the news of the Messiah's birth reached King Herod, <clears throat> he had degenerated both physically and mentally. He was now more easily deluded, he was more violent, and he was more vicious. And there is an incident recorded later in Matthew chapter 2 of just how vicious he could be. Now, the... Um, we can also deduce his character, though, just looking at the reaction of the city. Now, they also were troubled with him. What does that mean? Well, they knew only too well what he would do and what he could do when he was in a fit of rage. There's a proverb that talks about that as well. Proverbs 16, verse 14, let me read that. A king's wrath is a messenger of death, and a wise man will appease it. So Herod... He was a very wrathful man. He's also a hypocrite. And hypocrites are very powerful, especially when they use religion as a means to further and reach their goals. But hypocrites are always conscious and fearful of an avenger. So it should be no surprise that the birth of the Messiah, the true king of the Jews, was troubling to Herod. Now, let me go back to John Piper's comments about this first. Opposition is aroused against those who worship Jesus. The New Testament records this fact. Christians have experienced it down through the ages. And even today, these two types of opposition are present. They continue. Opposition against Christ and his worship. And they are indifference and hostility. So if you are a Christian, take time this Christmas Advent season to reflect on what it means and what it costs to follow the Messiah, who is the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching.